a business? Um, no, so, no, so it was a big one. But there's, I feel like as an entrepreneur and a business owner, there's always like challenges, you mm. know, there's always challenges, um, you know, like staffing, you know, is a big one, um, you know, and just like budgeting, like a lot of people, don't, they don't talk about that kind of stuff. You know, it's one thing to make the money, but like keeping the money is a whole different thing, you know? And so I had to learn a lot of that too, because I didn't understand that. Like it's still coming from the mindset of like a nine to five situation. I was used to having a certain amount of money and like spending that money accordingly, but then having an influx of money, but also having a bunch of new things to do with that money, like pay rent, um, you know, for my, for my spot, uh, pay staff, pay insurance, pay for supplies, pay for all of these things. It's like, okay, well it's coming in, but it's also going out. So yeah. like learning how to control that. The cash flow. Yeah. Yeah. The cash flow, that, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so what would you say if I'm a, I'm a business owner, right? Not even just spot owner. Mm -hmm. I'm a business owner. How can I develop those skill sets to, uh, like learn my cash flow? Like what's some of the things that I need to do? Be mindful for, well, what what I had to do for myself, and I think it's good for every business owner to do that, is really like sit down and write everything out. For a very long time, I actually did not do that. Mm, and so like write all of my expenses, like write it out on paper so you can yep. see it in your face. Because exactly. like having expenses out there and stuff on auto pay and stuff like that, you don't really realize like you how know, much how you're spending. Much, yeah, yeah. You know, but really writing it out and seeing what's coming in and what's coming out, that was like, the first big step for me and then from there I was like okay this is not my field I need help so you know having somebody like a financial advisor or like a bookkeeper or someone like that to help you know that that was the other big thing that I had to do so who do, who do, you, who do you use for your bookkeeper you have like a, a so I use or? I use a software called um Oh my gosh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Keeper. Keeper, okay. Keeper. Keeper um, helps. It's like QuickBooks, but it um, basically it just links to your uh, business accounts and on your credit cards too. It don't only have to be bank accounts. Mm -hmm. And it just basically pre-itemizes everything for you. Okay. So, um, you know, between that and then um, my uh, bookkeeper, it's been like, they they've been keeping that under control and it's been helping me a lot <laughs> no i no you know what's so crazy that's literally something that i'm using in my business mm -hmm. and because i teach and i talk about financial mm -hmm. literacy it is really different when you have money coming in from multiple places yes. like as an entrepreneur it it seems like you make money so fast because mm -hmm. like if i provide a service all right that's what's good y'all are y'all having a hard time starting conversations in large rooms do you need to find more effective ways to draw attention to yourself without wearing a fancy outfit? I figured out a hack. You need some Financial Revolution merch. Everything is a staple piece that represents black wealth. You are what you wear, so make sure you join the rest of the billionaires and get some FR merch. We have hoodies, sweatsuits, t-shirts, and much more. Make sure you visit www.financialrevolution.com and use code PODCAST for a special 10% off. Again, go to www.financialrevolution.com financialrevolution.com and use code podcast for a special 10 percent off let's get it y'all it's 400 dollars right there right. if i do this that's a thousand dollars right there like it just comes so fast and right. for me i don't have staffing yet mm -hmm. so it's not like i have a direct place for right. the money to go i'm just reinvesting in whatever i feel whatever, like my business exactly. needs and it's just like now at that point i'm just getting stuff you know what right, i'm saying right so it's like really learning how to budget and mm -hmm. especially when you have a business that doesn't have high overhead like right. my business doesn't require mm -hmm. any high overhead so it's like sometimes i have to say i right, Aaliyah, like right, chill, chill <laughs> out chill. or you know what i'm saying <laughs> like something as simple as paying taxes mm -hmm. like this would be my first year of me paying business ta wow. taxes and literally I got it in the mail yesterday. <laughs> like wow. literally I got in the mail, you owe this much money. Yeah. And I was like, oh, they got me. Right, like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I was like, they got me. You I'm know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and I always hear entrepreneurs mm -hmm. talk about uh, save money for taxes. Mm -hmm. And just to talk about too, like as an entrepreneur, you, you don't, you get taxed last. And yes. sometimes that can be really tricky yes. because if I, like I just said, if I, 
if I do a service mm-hmm. and it's four hundred dollars, I get my four hundred. The whole four hundred dollars. I get my four hundred dollars exactly. versus if I'm an employee and I know I just work four hundred dollars worth of hours. I already know in my check I'm only gonna get probably like three twenty six exactly, or whatever because taxes, taxes are taken out. Mm-hmm. But as an entrepreneur, you have to take a portion of that four hundred dollars yes. and save it to taxes because yes. at the end of the year they, they gonna come <laughs> they and come. tell you you owe this much. <laughs> yes. And the more money you make. Yep. The more money you owe. Period. And like you just gotta be mindful of that, right? Yeah. So how how have you like been dealing with like taxes and like things like that? Like, do you save like I do. So I, I and I didn't at first. Mm-hmm. And like you, when I the first year I did my business taxes, like the first year when I really started generating a good amount of income and I got that statement, they were like, You owed it. I was like, Oh Lord, wait a minute, <laughs> hold on. You know, it like took me back. I, I, I was like, Wow, how am I gonna do this? And so now I have a, a separate account mm-hmm. that I um do use just uh for tax purposes mm-hmm. like i put money into that every um sometimes i do it weekly well it's, it's on auto uh, auto situation yeah. right now but it's just set aside yeah and i'd rather have extra in that account to make yeah. sure i can cover my taxes so i yeah. don't have to come out out of